Okay, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share this video and like it. In this video, we're talking about Talco from New Notes. New Notes is a new niche house, which I have done a first impressions on all of their fragrances in my previous video. So if you want to know more about the brand and their other fragrances, please just go and check my previous video. Here we have the presentation for Talco. The box is very simple. You open it up, here you have the bottle, you can pick it up from the cap if you want, safely. Not a thing you can do with most fragrances. Um, so, here you have the name of the brand, New Notes, name of the fragrance, Talco, the concentration, which is extra to perform. All of their fragrances are very highly concentrated. Here at the bottom we have the, the batch code, if you care about that. The bottle is very simple, very minimalistic, but of high quality, so I like it. The cap is made of plastic. The atomizer is pressurized. I'm gonna show you guys the, the atomizer in a little bit. So let's talk about the notes for talco. Here we have the top notes of uh, talc, the mask rose, bergamot, and jasmine. In the middle we have notes of Moroccan rose, iris, palisander rosewood, and ylang ylang. In the base, we have musk, vanilla, amber, tonka bean, and precious woods. As you guys can see, the atomizer is fantastic. It sprays a lot of juice, and the fragrance is very oily, very highly concentrated. Oh. Hmm. So, uh, in the opening here, uh, I get a lot, of, a lot of the talc. The, the talc is the star of the show here. This, uh, this fragrance is completely centered around the note of talc, hence the name talco. So in the name, uh, in the opening, I get a lot of the, the talc, a lot of the florals, and a lot of the bergamot. Yeah, this is very powdery. It is fresh just a tiny bit sweet, very powdery, uh, a little bit fresh, a tiny bit sweet, just uh, this has a subtle sweetness to it, very floral. And uh, right there at the end, you have a, also a very subtle woodiness to it. Uh, I would say it's kind of hard to pick up the woodiness here. It's very, very subtle, like I said, to my nose at least. Hmm. Oh, this is so good. If you like very powdered fragrances, this is so good. Okay, so uh, you got a lot of the talc, uh, a lot of the rose. That's what I get most here, actually. Uh, what I get most is the talc followed by the roses followed by the lang lang, then the other florals and the bergamot. That's what I get most here in the opening of this fragrance. A lot of talc, followed by the roses, the lang lang, then the other florals and the bergamot. Yeah, as the fragrance dries down, uh, you start picking up more of the, the base notes, like the vanilla, the musk, the amber, the tonka bean and the precious woods. It is really, really good, guys. Oh, so, so good, so pleasing. So, like I said, uh, very powdery, a little bit fresh, very floral, with a subtle sweetness to it, and also a subtle woodiness. And the opening also, for like one to two hours, you get a, that, is, that citric touch from the bergamot. It lasts for about uh, one hour and a half, two hours, the, the citric. Then it goes away. So in reality, guys, what does this fragrance actually smells like? Okay, so uh, to me, to my nose, uh, this combination of florals, especially the rose, the combination of rose with the ylang-ylang, which are the florals I pick most in this fragrance, 
the roses combined with the ylang ylang, the jasmine and the iris, giving me kind of this blue smell. So uh, you have this blue smell from the combination of florals combined with the smell of talc, which in reality smells exactly like white baby powder. It smells like baby powder. All right, so uh, to me, this fragrance pretty much smells like white baby powder with this blue touch to it. You get this blue smell, kind of a blue smell from the combination of florals. And you combine this blue smell with the baby powder smell from the talco, from the talc. That's what this fragrance smells like to me. White baby powder with this blue touch to it. Oh. It is really good, guys. Uh, if you are a fan of very powdery fragrances, I guarantee you're gonna love this fragrance. I guarantee you that. If you like very powdery fragrances, you're gonna love this. Also, if you like uh, clean fragrances, because this also smells very clean. Uh, red baby powder smells very clean. So this is mostly baby powder with a blue touch to it. So if you like baby powders, this smell of baby powder, you're gonna also love this fragrance, all right? I like both very powdery and clean fragrances, so this is a love for me, okay? I like this fragrance a lot. But uh, like I said, if you like uh, either uh, very powdery or clean smelling fragrances, I'm sure you're gonna like this. Especially for lovers of powdery fragrances, very powdery fragrances. So uh, this, this uh, baby powder smell with this blue touch to it, it is very, very pleasing very likable, very inviting, very comforting. It smells so clean, so clean. This fragrance smells extremely clean to me. Like I said, I just smell, just imagine this uh, baby powder smell with a blue touch to it. Very clean smelling, very pleasing, very likable. I don't see anyone disliking this fragrance. Uh, like I said, uh, it smells great to me fresh, uh, a little bit fresh, clean, very powdery, floral, with a citric and woody touch to it. Also, it has a subtle sweetness. Great smelling fragrance. Also, this is a great performer. Uh, let's talk about the, the performance for this fragrance. Guys, uh, this is a beast, okay? Uh, longevity here, easily 12 plus hours on skin. Uh, I personally get uh, around 14 to 16 plus hours on my skin. And the uh, projection is beastly here. Uh, this one has beast mode projection for like the first three hours, maybe four hours. Then after that, uh, it still keeps projecting very well. Uh, and it doesn't start to sit close to the skin until like the eight, nine, 10 hour mark, okay? So uh, performance here is fantastic, fantastic. Uh, versatility here, you can wear this year round, uh, hot weather, cold weather, you can wear this in the summer, in the winter, no problem. Uh, I live in Brazil, here is uh, very hot most of the year and I can wear talco daily most of the time. I personally use talco as a uh, daily fragrance, okay? I use it uh, as my daily driver. Because like I, I told you guys, very clean smelling, a little bit fresh, very powdery. Uh, it smells great. Uh, there's no one that uh, does not like this fragrance because like I said, it is very pleasing, very inviting, very comforting. Baby powder smell, who doesn't like? the smell of baby powder. I love it personally. <laughs> so uh, very pleasing fragrance. It gives you uh, a lot of compliments. Like I said, uh, smells clean, a little bit fresh. And uh, this, this DNA is very simply a, a high compliment getter, okay? Very clean, a little bit fresh, very likable. Uh, I don't see anyone disliking this, this fragrance. The only people who's not gonna like this fragrance are the people who doesn't like the smell of baby powder, okay? If you don't like the smell of baby powder, stay away for, from this fragrance. But if you do so, 
you're gonna love this, okay? But in general, in general, for 90% of the people, I would say, this is a uh, very pleasing phrase. 90% uh, of the people are gonna like this and uh, think you're gonna smell great. They think you're gonna smell fantastic. They think you're gonna smell very clean and fresh, okay? So, um, for the scent here, I'll give this fragrance uh, an 8.5 out of 10. I think it smells great. It smells fantastic for what it is. Okay. So for the, the smell here, for the scent, I'll give this phrase an 8.5. For the, the performance, definitely 10 out of 10. Like I said, this is a beast performance. Nuclear projection here. Uh, uh, fantastic longevity. Uh, there's nothing to say about the performance here. Actually, all of New Nodes fragrances are very, good, very long lasting, okay? And they have, all, all of them have very good projection, but I think Talco is the most, uh, is the strongest projecting one from what I remember. So uh, 10 out of 10 for the, the performance here. Uh, for the versatility, also a 10 out of 10, okay? And like I said, these are year round fragrances. You can wear this year round, during the day, during the night. Um, Cold weather, hot weather, any situation, any occasion, because like I said, you're gonna smell uh, very, very clean, okay? Very powdery and clean. That's exactly what you're gonna smell like. You're gonna smell, smell like a very clean person, a very uh, powdery, clean smelling person. So, very likable, uh, very wearable, very, very, very pleasing, comforting, and inviting fragrance. Like I said, if you're a fan of very powdery fragrances, I'm gonna say it again. I said it many times, you're gonna love this fragrance, okay? Fans, lovers of very powdery fragrances, you're gonna love this. Also, if you like clean smelly fragrances, uh, and you like the smell of baby powder, you're gonna love this too, okay? So that's pretty much it for Talco. Lovely fragrance. Uh, as you can see, I have worn a lot of this. I've been wearing this for the past, uh, I don't know, like, four months. I'm not sure exactly how long I've been wearing this fragrance. But uh, like I said, I use this as my daily driver. Great smelling fragrance. So again, um, for the scent, for the smell, I'll give this an 8.5. For the performance, a 10 out of 10. And for the versatility, also a 10 out of 10, okay? So that's it. I also would like to thank New Notes for sending me this bottle of talc to be of Talco to be reviewed here on the channel. And uh, would like to thank you guys for taking your, taking your time to watch this review. Like I said in the beginning, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share this video and like this video if you liked the video, obviously. So that's pretty much it. If you wanna purchase this fragrance or any other fragrances from New Notes, I'm gonna leave uh, their website link in the video and also in the description. Uh, I always recommend sampling first, obviously. So uh, with either New Notes or uh, New Notes or any other uh, niche brand, just get a sample first, sample their fragrances first by its cover kit. So uh, that's pretty much it. But uh, like I said, guys, if you're a fan of very powdery fragrances, I think this is a safe blind buy, okay? I'm just go right ahead and say that if you like very powdery fragrances, you are a fan of powdery fragrances, this is a safe blind buy. But like I always say, uh, I always recommend sampling first, okay? But uh, to me, a, a blind buy for lovers of very powdery fragrances, okay? So thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next one. Thank you.